Hey everybody, how's it going? Tonight is the night that we finish the challenge stream once and for all. Why does it say I'm disconnected from the server? Okay, there it goes. That was weird. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? This week felt like it took forever to get to this point because it just dragged on forever. But it is Wednesday, we are finally ready to do this, and it's time for us to finish the fight. Last time when we were doing our adventure, we started with the Anglos, we finished both the Anglos and the Legion, and we've done half of the Tundra levels left. So, all that is left to do is to finish up the last two levels. Now, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Not, not because these levels are hard, well, kind of because these levels are pretty hard. Uh, it's because the final level doesn't have any grunts in it, period. So, I might have to take a Call Sign Eagle approach to it. And just, I can't attack outright. But, given how difficult that mission is, we'll give it a couple tries. If not, then we can say that the challenge ends with this mission, Ice Station X. Because this technically is the last level that you can have playable grunts in the game. So, for now, we'll get started into this. Moves north to the frozen wastes of northern tundra. The Exylvanians have completed construction of a mysterious installation on a coastal ice sheet. Nova must move quickly if Vlad is to be taken by surprise. And let's get started on uh, this level. I actually really like this level. I don't know why I'm uh, groaning on it. I, I, like I said, I really enjoy this level. It's it's a nice, like, wide open area, but you experiment with different approaches. And we're going to be having a whole lot of different approaches because I'm going to be at a huge disadvantage. It was up to almost 6 last night. Uh, is that why I got a notification at 4 in the morning that you were streaming, dude? Jeez. Hopefully that push, uh, you finally get to push it over and you can get into the affiliate stuff, Dragon. Definitely the hardest thing for you to do would be to, uh, get the, like, the three concurrent viewers. But, you know, just keep working hard and you'll get there eventually. If I could get it, then anyone can. Only air attack will breach the concrete barricade. Eliminate Uber's four anti-air towers so I can deploy bomber support. Until then, a light tank, bazooka vets, and flame vets are all that can be spared. Make them count. And grunts. Why do you gotta leave out the grunts? They're like the backbone of the army. Destroy those four anti-air towers. Marshal Nova commands you. All right, let's go. I need to re remind myself of what this map layout was. All right, so there are POWs here. I think, yeah, there's grunts and bazooka vets right here. No flame vets, actually. I think they might be over here. Yeah, flame vets with the, the tank crew. So you can get two light tanks to help you fight through here. You gotta go take out all four of these uh, AA towers to clear the way for bombers. It makes the level so much easier, especially seeing as how right here there's a battle station. And two heavy tanks. There are a lot of tanks in this level. Like, holy hell. I think over there... Uh, I thought that was a heavy tank that patrolled. Huh. Was it right there? No, that's all bazooka vets. There it is. I knew there was a heavy tank out here somewhere. So, the way I usually like to go about this is, uh, hit down here, take out these two to clear a way, uh, up to the POWs. However, seeing as how I can't really be a tank and, you know, take command from that, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go up through this pathway, take out both of the light tanks. There's actually a lot less resistance up here. Go and rescue the POWs up here and then make our way over rescue the POWs here, and then start working our way to those AA towers from there. Liberate the two POW camps to gain a much-needed advantage, 
but don't expect the Kaiser's henchmen to be unprepared. This definitely is a mission that would have benefited if we had mortar vets with us. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. We already lost the grunt. Come on, take him out. Nice, dude. Hopefully that graphics card will work out well for you. Alright, let's call the rest of the troops in. Alright, so let's see. We got... I want to see if I can draw that tank over here and then send, sick the bazooka vets on it. Alright, here it comes. I want to send the tank too, just in case. So, Dragon, uh, funny thing about tonight, uh, what took that guy out? What? Uh, sometimes my troops can be really stupid. Oh, you definitely need health, dude. What's the, what's, the, uh, see, besides that guy, everyone else is in pretty good health. Okay. As I was saying, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do Ninjala tonight. I misread the timing of when the new season releases, and it's actually not until tomorrow. So, I might propose a vote to see what we do for tomorrow's stream, because... I'll see if people want me to... Oh, hi! I'll see if people want me to do Mario is Missing, but I might put it up to vote against Ninjala. Or I could do both. I don't know. It just depends on how fast we get done with Mario is Missing, if that wins. But I really would like to take a look at Ninjala when I can. Really? That didn't do it? Actually, you know what? No, don't don't provoke it. Ooh, definitely do not want to go that way because I see the two heavy tanks over there. Uh, instead, I will go this way. And I'm just going to send the tanks in to take care of the troops down there. Now we can go. Uh, let me see. What was the troop layout? He oh, God. There's a heavy tank here. An MG tower over there, as well as one garden of POWs. I could send the tanks in, but there's bazooka vets in there. That thing's patrolling around the AA gun. All right. I got a boatload of flame vets, so I'm going to go send them to take care of the bazookas. I have the tanks go and attack the tower, and hopefully they don't shoot the bazookas. Oh god! Uh oh. Oh god. It's him. Um... Go! Gain up on him! Bully him! Please stop getting stuck on the tank. Thank you very much. Right, you, 
you guys take care of that. Bazookas, take care of the tower. Oh, there's jerry cans over here. I was going to be like, I'm sure there's jerry cans around here somewhere. Poor Wallet's going to hate you on Friday. Why? What's on? Oh, is that the Omori stuff? There we go. I was going to be like, why did you not pick it up? All right, uh, light tank or heavy light tank? Oh yeah, the sh you, you were talking about the shirts last week. Or was it when you were streaming Sly? I don't remember uh, which exactly. Oh, here it comes. Probably both. Mm, guys, you really should not tank a tank shell right uh, head on. You'll live longer that way. <laughs> Does not even care. Just plows right through the troops. Beat it 100% less than I, including trophies. Nice. Now let me guess, uh, Sly 3 is next on the on the list. Am I right? Oh god. Yep. Gonna go for the 100% in Sly, Sly 3, I see. Uh, what is that guy doing? Alright, he's not going for us. You know what? I'm gonna let bygones be bygones. As in, I'm going to say bye and be gone from him. Uh, let's see. Assaults. Assaults. Hey! Guys, guys, please get out of the line of fire. Oh, is he coming? To, oh, is he coming this way? I think he's coming this way. Yep, he is. I really wanted to use the bomber on that thing, just so I didn't have to put my troops in harm's way, just like that, because I think we just lost two bazookas. I only see one body, though. Huh. Well, either way, the heavy tank's out of commission. Like I said, this mission really could have used mortar vets for our team. There are just so many troops that are in cover, it's ridiculous. Wait, why is yours crying, Moon? What are you doing? Come on, guys. Seriously? Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Tie 2 HD. Oh, that's right. Alright. Concrete barricade. Uh, let's see. Where, where's a good spot to drop the troops off? Uh, I guess right here. Am I even... Yeah, I'm going the right way. We'll keep the battalion right here. I'm going to go up ahead and scout because I need to direct the bombers and I don't want to get the entire battalion wiped out by the battle station. Why am I... Oh, no, I can bring the battalion up with me. I'll keep the bombers behind, though. Eh, actually. 
Might as well send the bombers to go take care of those towers, especially the RPG towers. Very nice looking Wii game. It is. At times, it can look at downright gorgeous. Like, this level is definitely a highlight, even though the, the glare kind of gets a little ridiculous at times. I still really like it. Oh, God! Uh, I'm just going to pull you guys back. What the hell are those bomber pilots doing? There we go. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh no. Oh no, it's coming after me. Oh no, I can't lead a bet to the battalion. And we're done. I'm getting two back codes for the switchboard of Sly 2, so you want one to let you know. I mean, you don't have to do that, dude. I appreciate it, but just like, you know, maybe maybe do it like a raffle or something. Or maybe, like, uh, raffle it to your Discord. Because I, I honestly hate it when I like people do, do that kind of stuff for me, because it feels like I'm it's playing favorites. It's just how I've always been. I've just always been stingy when it came to gifts. Moon knows that firsthand. I'm I'm someone who who likes giving gifts to people to you know to make them happy and such, but at the same time I don't like receiving them because it just feels like I I don't I don't deserve it. I, I it's like I haven't earned earned the right to have it. Oh, are you coming this way? Uh. Can't tell. He's, oh god! All right, I'll bring the troops in. And I just got two codes and can't download the game twice. Also, I don't know how to hold a raffle. I mean, sure, if you if you want to give me a code, dude, I'm I won't say no to it, and I can help you with a raffle for the other one. Bombers. Why are they all the way over there? Has anti -air vehicles Yet, the why are they all the way over there? I guess maybe the cutscene made them go that far, but I, it's a death sentence if I put them over there. One of the codes, so I have the game, and just see if you want the second. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, if you want to give it, I won't say no. I'm just stating how I feel about when when people like do this kind of stuff for me. It's just like, no, I don't deserve it. Ah, crap! Who died? No, don't send the flame vets. <laughs> that, you know, that's not me, dragon. All right, how many were patrolling around there? Three. No, wait, those are bazookas. Uh, flames, you go take care of them. Bazookas, you can go take care of these guys, and I'll send the grunts over there as well. 
Especially seeing as how there's a bazooka vet here. Although, technically, I don't really need... Yeah, technically, I don't really need the rest of the battalion. I mean, you must hate Christmas, then. I mean, when it comes to the giving part of Christmas, I love it. When it comes to the receiving end... Hmm... Yeah. Alright. I, uh, what I want to do is I want to leave the battalion here. I'm going to take my bazooka vets. And we're going to take care of the AA vehicles that are patrolling around here. I'll just wait for this one to pop up. Once we take those out, we can send the bombers off to the ice station. Because I believe the bombers are the only thing that can actually destroy him. Or destroy it. Go, man. You got this. He's got a giant gun, but he can't aim for shit. Why is there a tank up here? What is, what is my tank doing? What are you doing? You fool! Why is it, what, what is going on with my tank? Oh, now it runs away. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Get as far away from the coastline as possible. Let the bombers deal with the ice station while we just sit back and drink hot cocoa. All right, we should be safe from the bo from the. Uh, no, we're not. Keep running, run, boys. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's definitely going after my tanks. Oh no. Okay. Okay, now we're out of range of the battleships. No, we're not! Run! I am surprised. Why not, Coco? Alright, this run should do it. And we're done. And unfortunately, two more grunts had to die. Or actually, no, three grunts. Thank God my troops are invincible during cutscenes, though. Celebrate prematurely. The location of the staff was received moments ago. Retreat to the mine and spider Übel. I am honestly surprised that my tanks survived that battle. I thought for sure they were dead to rights when those battleships showed up. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Also, that power is pretty nice. But yeah, I think uh, those battleships is what killed me in power. All that, and also we missed out on a fair decent amount of grunts. And I th think the only other vehicle that was there was that uh, light tank back by the concrete wall. Speed! Wow, we were at this for 17 minutes. Almost 17 and a half. And 11 and a half is for the 100% record. Technique, we lost nine troops. And that's about it. All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Honestly, the hardest mission in the game. The staff of Kalan, the Solar Empire's ancient doomsday device. The Alliance of Nations launches an all-out assault on Vlad's glacier excavation facility in a desperate attempt to stop him once and for all.
Yeah, the thing about this is you get a battle station to play with. However, you have to get through the level without it being destroyed. And there are so many things in your way to destroy this battle station. It's kind of ridiculous. And even at the very end, it's also very easy for the battle station to be destroyed. Just, oh, this mission is really difficult. Soon my mining spider shall extract it and I shall wield unlimited power. Kaiser must be stopped, Commander. We have to get to that mining spider. Commander Evil, delay the marshal so that I can complete the process of extracting the star. At once, Herr Kaiser! Any survivors will join their comrades in Uber's POW gulags! Ha ha ha! Our allies must not endure the indignity of capture. Liberate these Imperial anti-air vehicles. And free these Frontier POWs from Ubel's vile clutches, Commander. It is up to you to unite the Alliance of Nations. Defend the boys! Radar array. It will be needed to safely guide gunship reinforcements to your position. Oh boy. Unleash Don't waste them just yet. Wait until the battle at least starts. Let it be destroyed, for nothing else can smash the mining spider. So many tanks are coming all at once. Alright, take care of the gunship. The A vets should be able to take care of the gunship now that they're in guard mode, so I don't really need to direct them. Main thing I need to do is direct the battle station. Uh, we just lost two of them. Uh, I lost another one. Oh boy. It is really hard when you can't control the battle station and direct the shot yourself. But it still takes a good while for it to line up another shot and get it ready. The radar array has been successfully defended. Move forward, Comrade Commander. All three of us. Great. Alright, uh, before we move on, uh, let's take a look at the level, shall we? So, right off the bat... Uh, we gotta fight two battle stations. Thankfully, we'll be getting gunships soon, so that's great. Uh, up ahead are some frontier units and also some more gunships for us. There's a lot of grunts, uh, heavy tanks, another battle station. There's AA, uh, tower, one AA tower, I believe, in each of the... No? I just wonder, was it... Oh, wait, is it right there? Yep, there it is. Uh, there's AA towers, there's the Solar Empire troops that have AA vehicles, there's the Frontier tanks that was in the cutscene. And then, here's where the final encounter is. There's gunships, heavy tanks, fighters, battle stations, the, the entire works. And I think they just keep respawning over and over again. So I tested the TE pose glitch in the Vita version of Slide 2, and yep, it's there too. I shall send in my personal gunship attack squadron. Now here's a question. Is it in the original Psy 2? Or was it an issue with the remake? Uh-oh. And with that, I'm the last trooper on the ground. How? And we lost it. Three tries is what we're going to give this mission before I just do it proper. Because technically you can't even do the challenge for this level. There's just no grunts for you to use. Kaiser Vlad is but yeah, it's really easy for you to lose the battle station in this. I, I, this is why I like to call it a glass cannon for the Tundra version. Just because so many things can destroy it in this level.
I will test that, but we'll need to play episode 3 again, a small bit of episode 4. I mean, you don't actually have to do that, well, I guess, a small bit of episode 4 to unlock Sly. But, I mean, there's a code you can put in that can just skip you right into episode 4. Unleash the Tundran Battle Station, but do not let it be destroyed, for nothing else can smash the Mining Spider. Nope, not that. Shoot that. I already lost, uh, yep, lost two of them. Lost all, lost all but one. The radar array has been successfully defended. Move forward, comrade commander. This is gonna suck. Enemy battle stations emerging from the. Yeah, I know they're emerging from the tree line. Everybody attack them. Let's have him shoot at me and not my battle station, and hopefully we'll be able to get uh, further than we did last time. So far, I'm seen to be doing a good job of getting their attention. That's a battle station looking. Yeah, it took a dent, but nothing too bad. Whoop! What's up with the, the blast radius on their battle stations? It's ridiculous. Oh, no wonder they couldn't hit the battle station. It was sitting behind a wall. I'm going to wait for it to catch up because I'm definitely going to need it for what's up ahead. What do you got? I guess... Oh, wow, the battle station really lags behind you. Holy hell. Marshal, my expeditionary force at the Northern Radar Array is coming under heavy fire. Protect the Northern Radar Array. If you are successful, we can use those grounded gunships. And we're good. The radar array is safe. Those additional gunships can now lift off. I like that the icon for the all units actually changes to the Alliance of Nations logo. It's a really nice little touch they do at the very end. Keep those out of range of the tower up there, and then I'm going to have to do some scouting. The enemy approaches the Gulags. Good hunting, my gunships. Oh, great. And I only got one AA vet. Great. Fun. The Gulags are well protected with an anti-air tower. I might be losing the... Yep, we lost the tank. Come on, take it out. Let's see if my gunships can help out a little bit. Keep them moving enough and maybe get a couple rockets on them. It is just a mess of rockets up there. Holy hell. Oh, you fool! Get back here! Would you mm, AI can be super dumb sometimes. Ah, 
Uh, okay, fine. We're already unleashing everything. Gunship should be able to take care of anything before the rest of the troops show up. Ooh, what? Oh, it must be an RPG tower. Oh, no, oh, that's a battle station! And there goes our heavy tank and our other AA vet. Great. Oh, wow. If you actually lose all your uh, other units that are from the other nations, you lose the Alliance logo. Huh. You learn something new every day. That's a heavy tank. How's the battle station looking? Pretty beat up. Come on, there has to be Jerry Can, Jerry Can. Nope. There's one over there. Oh, he's going. He's going. Will he find one? There he goes. What are those idiots doing? What? No, they must be going for more jerry cans. That's literally the only logical ex explanation as to why that thing's going so far out of the way. Marshal, two heavy tanks and their crews are being held prisoner in the gulag ahead. The enemy is called up in the east. Where's that other gunship? There it is. Oh god, I have to get through this. Well, technically, I have to get through this without losing this guy, but so long as I'm not in control of the battle station, we're fine. It's It would just uh, really validate my experience if I can get through this with infantry. I'm just gonna fall back. Okay, it's up there, buddy. Okay. Do I even really need to say anything about this? Oh my god. Put it in reverse! There we go. Alright, now that's taken care of, I'm going to send the gunships in. And hopefully I can take out those battle stations one at a time. Do not go after the ammo dump yet. Ooh, here it comes! You go after that guy. Damn, those gunships just cleave right through that battle station. Hell tight! Gonna take him out. And we're good. Alright, cool. Now let's rescue the frontier troops. If I can find the thing to target, where is it? There it is. You have freed the frontier heavy tanks from the Western Gulag. Secondary objective complete. You did it, Nova. 
Keep clearing out those heavies. Almost is on fire. All right, cool. All right, now for the heavy. There's so much snow, it's barely, uh, visible in this area. Holy hell. Like, I think it's no nowhere near as bad if you're in the battle station, but as a, a trooper on the ground, holy... Just, damn, it, it, the perspective is just all over the place. How's everybody looking? Oh, we lost a heavy. Great. Uh, oh, and we lost an AA vehicle. Cool. Battle stations good. Gunships could use some help. Woo! Wait. Hang on a second. Okay. For a second, I got scared because I could have sworn that there were uh, and there was an AA vehicle around here somewhere, but no, it was just uh, heavy tanks. The thing that will uh, definitely be a hindrance to my gunships are the fighters uh, flying overhead. Need to keep an eye on that fighter. I know it's around here somewhere, and there's also another gunship. There he is. Oh no, it's going for me! Yep, get that fighter. Oh crap, where's that fighter? There he is. And he is still in the air! Holy shit! Great, of course, it had to be another gunship. I think the fighter is attacking my AA vehicle, not going for the gunships. I mean, fine by me if he wants to go out there something that can't do anything to it. That's right, gunships will keep uh, spawning back in uh, as time goes on, because I think it's like unlimited gunships. I don't think fighters come back in though, thankfully. Alright, the go-to thing to do here, uh, take out two generators, and then make sure everybody's good help. Why did I just lose a gunship? Or, yeah, gunship. Oh, finder. Okay, there it goes. Uh, that battle station is in bad shape. I do not want to take out that third generator yet. I want to get that uh, battle station healed up. Do 
get the hell I can't see anything because of the snow. I seriously cannot see anything in front of me. There we go. All right, I think he got some of the healing. All right, let's do this. And now for the fun part. Oh boy. All strato destroyers report to the mining spider immediately. Strato destroyers, eh? These fighters will help you deal with those beams. Yeah, you didn't think the Anglos were gonna sit this out, did you? All right, gotta get close enough. It, wow, I just lost almost all all my fighters, and we just lost the battle station. <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we made it as far as we did with uh, what we did for this challenge. All right. Well, seeing as how uh, guiding everything everywhere is not going to be an easy task, should we just do the final mission proper then? Because technically we, again, can't really do the challenge without the troops that you do before. Or should we give it one more go? While I let people decide on what they would like to see for the end, uh, let me just check some few, some things while I wait. Try one more time. All right. Let me just check something off. Okay. All right. One more time it is. <gasps> Maybe this, I'd say, do it proper. You've done a challenge to, uh, good up to this point. <clears throat> I'll give it one more go. Knowing my luck, we're probably going to fail at the very beginning again because of just bad luck. But we'll see. If I fail this time, then we'll do it proper. All right, let's go. Unleash the Tundra Battle Station, but do not let it be destroyed, for nothing else can smash the mining spider. Of course, it has to miss the first shot. And he's going for me. You know what? Good. Let it go for me and not the rest of the troops. Come on, get, come on, look at me, look, shoot at me, shoot at me, not them, nope, look at me. No, on me. Oh, we are losing troops left and right. These tanks just tear you up unless you're in the bat battle station proper. Wow, the, the gunner is garbage in that thing. Holy hell. And I'm the sole survivor. Cool. The radar array has been successfully defended. Move forward. Oh, this is going to be bad. I get why they only have you use AA vets for the start of this mission, but I always found it super weird that they are technically the only infantry you get in this entire level. Like you remember what the climactic uh, finale for the first game was, and how like you had so many units. You had bazookas, you had mortar. I think you had bazookas. It might have been just mortars, uh, flame vets, grunts, uh, light tanks, the works. And this one's just we get a battle station. You get some. 
uh, gunships, you get tanks. I, I do like the aspect of, you know, you get to control all the nations that you've been a part of up to this point. I just always found it weird that the the AA vets you get at the very start are the only infantry throughout this mission. I'd say maybe a couple, like, assault vets or maybe just, like, a, a squad of grunts would help uh, make some of the more annoying parts of this mi mission better. Granted, the only infantry that the the, the Exylvanians have are grunts themselves, so they're weird they didn't put bazooka vets there, but I guess that they just wanted to make this more of a vehicle mission. Oh no, I just... It's in a T post for a second, but then goes into his normal swing. Alright, I have to take control of the tank. Because, I just realized, I only have one A... Uh, excuse me, excuse me, I am driving here, sir, please get out of my... What are you doing? I am not stuck, I do not need to be plowed out of the way. God, the gall of some troops, just... Ah! This might actually be uh, a better idea than what I had before. Got to happen. It's nowhere near as often in the collection as in the collection, though. So, swinging with power is just a thing that Slide does throughout throughout that game. Then. Where is it? There it is. Really wish I had more than one AA vet. This does not make my job any easier. Why did you free the Solar Empire? And immediately killed. Who would have thought freeing the POWs while the guards are still around results in the POWs getting killed? And speaking of getting killed. And I'm dead. No, why didn't I think of this before? It gives you the tactical advantage. Thought it was the collection glitch. Guess not, but it happens more often in the collection. To be fair, the collection is very glitchy. It, it still looks really nice, but it is incredibly glitchy. So, I could see why you thought it might just have been a collection glitch only.
Watch the SGB. Remember when Sly lost his head and the game crashed? No. I've never seen that happen, but I definitely want to look it up now. And we lost the battle station. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, we tried three times. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it, so let's just do the mission proper. Kaiser Blast. Now to do this right. Unleash the Tundran Battle Station, but do not let it be destroyed, for nothing else can smash the mining spike. I've actually kind of noticed you do slightly more damage uh, than ordering your troops do when you take control of them. Because it takes like two, maybe three shots for the battle station to to destroy a heavy tank when you're ordering it to, but then again, maybe just be because the shots are off. But when I'm doing it, it takes like one to two shots. All right, I'll check it out on break. It also helps that since I'm shooting at it, it's focusing on me, not going after the troops or the radar array. Uh, array. I don't, don't know why I said away. from the tree line. I think All right. Gunships. Just get right into the fray. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. And we're done. All right, cool. Those additional gunships can now lift off. You can take direct command of these tanks, too. We're only going to beat these Xers if we fight together, right? Two Imperial AA vehicles have been taken prisoner, Master. You must liberate them from the Gulag. The only reason I could think of they, they filled this entire battlefield with grunts and grunts alone is because it's to counter any AA vets you might have on you. Wow, you all just missed the, the shots. Holy hell. that and now take the gunships and now we attack
Alright, you work on that. I'll work on the battle station over here. Okay. Oh, nope. Got him. Alright. I'm gonna call the troops in now. Ty Twitter just made a tweet saying Ty 2 HD is on the Switch in the 30 and 31st with the PS4 and Xbox One ports being just before July 1st. Wow, Switch got the pr uh, preferable treatment. It's weird. I When I grew up with the Ty series, I grew up with the the uh, PlayStation version of it. Uh-oh, here they come. Like, Tab 1 HD, the switchboard was the main priority. Okay. I guess, given, given what Ty is, I, I figured they knew, like, people would want to play Ty on the go and such, so that's why they prioritized the Switch. Maybe. That, that might be just my interpretation of it. That and gyro controls. What what would you use gyro controls for in the first game? Uh, aside from like the, the the final boss and like what you had to do for that. Oh God, no! Why why you have to be alive? Ooh. Uh, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble right now. Oh God. Don't you take that? Mm. Okay, now I will plow you out of the way. That should hit. A little far back. I, I'm surprised that did not free the tanks over there. But I'm glad it didn't. Put the Joy-Con to throw a rain in the corresponding hand. Also use motion controls in first person. And for some reason, tilt left and right to steer time while, while gliding. Huh. The more you know. I figure it would just be for that one segment at the end of, end of the game where you had the control like that uh, remote control boomerang. Please tell me you got health. Yes, you do. Good. I do, I do like the gimmick of uh, whatever Joy-Con you, you flick uh, determines which boomerang uh, Ty throws. That's a nice little gimmick. So, uh, I'm going to guess people now want the, the Ty to Tasmanian Tiger left-hand boomerang run now. Where I can only throw the left boomerang. No, no, two, no double rings. I'm, I'm prioritizing left because it, it's the weaker hand. Actually, uh, I'll keep the gunships with me.
Yeah, the, the, the snow uh, blowing across the screen, nowhere near as bad when you're in here than when you are as a, as a ground soldier. All right, you go for that heavy. I shall take care of the one over here. Something that excites me is that the whole TIE series gets ported in HD and does well. Kome said they are most, I would say, they most likely make a fully brand new TIE game, but I will say it'll be weird to see TIE in proper form, uh, uh, TIE in proper form from the ground up. Like, I really do hope, uh, it actually does well too. I remember really liking the Thai games, although I never played the third one, and thanks a lot, Dragon, for making me go through it. I've heard the third game's not as good as as the other ones are. I thought that was going to hit that gunship for a second. Uh-oh. Right. Please, guys, get out of my way. Oh god, we're being targeted. No, no, not the grunt! Get the battle station! Where is that fighter? Oh, nope, not that. Get the gunship. Actually, you guys can get the gunship. Uh, I want that AA vehicle taking care of that fighter up there. Whenever it comes back around. There he is. Come on, get him. Alright, got him. I'm hearing what sounds like a, a tundering grunt, but I don't see him anywhere. Unless we're talking about the, the crew at the battle station. These gunships are getting on my nerves. He's avoiding my fighters, or avoiding my gunships, good. Break anything you can get. Uh, the strategy for uh, this, because this technically counts as a final boss of the game. Uh, keep moving. Definitely keep moving. Don't keep the battle station in one place where it's basically dead in the water. When the Stratos show up, use the Fighters A and the Anti-Air Vets, if you have any left, to take care of them. And just basically keep moving in a back and forth pattern. If you're taking any damage, possibly go for any of the Jerry Cans you might see. Just remember where they are located. And that's basically the gist of this final boss. Alright, cool. God, hold on. I need to take care of this.
What? The fields are destroyed? Type 3 is kind of unfocused and tries too hard to be edgy and serious at points. And they really lose focus on rain throwing. Like, you gotta run up to an enemy and slash them with your reins. If you throw the reins nine times out of ten, they block it out. These fighters will help you deal with those fiends. Alright. Time to move. No, 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 no. Oh, get it. All right. Send a, send a battalion after that. That was fun. All right. Just keep moving and shooting. Move and shoot. That is the name of the game. Oh, the, there are so many lasers. Uh, they do a lot of damage to your gunships. So if you send the gunships to attack it to try and draw some fire, it's basically a death sentence for them. That and if you stay in one place, as you can see, the lasers actually focus. I hate that you can't actually target the laser batteries to take them out so they stop shooting, or at least uh, let up on you. Alright, you guys focus on that strato. The biggest threat for you right now isn't uh, the, the Mind Spider's lasers, however. Yeah, they do some damage, and they're kind of a nuisance. You can see my health uh, steadily going down. It's a bombing run from that strato destroyer. As I said, stay in one place is a death sentence. Alright, you know what? You guys stay there. Maybe you can attack that strato. Maybe not. If you just want to sit and watch the pretty light show, then that's fine by me, I guess. Uh, another, another, another big threat is the ice. Oh god, the ice. This should do it. Yep, there we go. And we're done. Oh god, my arm. The mining spider is destroyed. But no matter. I have found the star of Kalev. And now it is activated. I shall destroy you all and escape by air transport. Shoot it down first, old chap. Trapped! Quickly, Ruben! We have but one chance to escape! Betty, aren't you a little cold in that outfit? I want to put on a bigger coat, maybe longer pants. About this. I like that one of her patches on her jacket is actually an S rank from the first game. I didn't notice it until now. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Hey, Betty. Hop aboard. Again, I am denied my right of vengeance. Where are they? If digging, come 
Kommandant. At once, Herr Kaiser. Our victory may have been postponed, but the torch of destiny still burns brightly for Exylvania. That is such a sad uh, metaphor for this series. Oh, hey, look, it's the old sub emote. Or the old sub gif I used. And sadly, that is where the series ended. It never got a third game, and it never could finish off its story. B rank. I'm surprised speed was the thing. 11 minutes. I am surprised Technique did not get a bigger hit than it did already. Seeing as how I lost all my infantry and all but three vehicles. Hey, they got an ice cream stand over there. All the Frontier Grunts run out of the parade to get ice cream. You know what? I let them have it. They deserved it. <laughs> oh, I love those little guys. And, yeah, that's credits. I don't think we... No, we didn't get a rank on everything, so... Yeah, no extra. So unfortunately, you can't see the the Exylvanian units or the Tundrans, but I can show them off in the other uh, other ones we did. I think it was this one. Yeah, no, not this one. I think it was this one. Yes. All right. Had to get one more ice cream joke in there. I, I, I kind of want to make an ice cream alert now with, with the Frontier Grunts. I don't know how I'd make it go, but I, I definitely uh, would like to work on something. I don't even know what the alert would be for. But I might as well show off the Tundrans and the the Exylvanians just because. So you got got their recon. Again, everything that the is vehicle-wise for them is repurposed farm equipment. Like, literally, all their tanks, all their vehicles are just all tractors. Just with more bits and pieces on them. We could be, uh, bits hats and a sprinkle. Uh, that actually might be a good idea. Maybe it's like a, a specific bit amount, and then it can just be like a, a, a grunt holding up a thing of ice cream, and then just have like the, bit, the bits drop as sprinkles on top of it. That actually... Is pretty ingenious, Strike, and I might have to talk to Dalton about it. Here's the battle station. Uh, God, this thing just it hurts to look at. Just, it's a mess. It, it's just, it's all cramped together. The Frontier one, you can see where everything laid out. This one, oh God, it's just a, a mash of like armor and guns and stuff. It's ridiculous. And some of the placements of the guns are really weird too. It's like, Okay, you got the anti-infantry and the tail, get anti-vehicles on the side, and then you got one on the top. And then he cracks the tooth because the bits are style gems, are still gems. Nah, that, that'd be too mean. Got the gunships, got the fighters, got the bombers. Oh yeah, I forgot to show out the infantry. Duh. 
So yeah, here's the Tundra and Grunt. Once again, as I said last time, uh, they got a complete and total rework in this game. Whereas the other one had like, it, they were more scrunched down, they had brown coats instead of red coats, and they had their goggles down. I honestly prefer the design of the, of the original uh, Tundra and Grunts over these guys. That's just a personal preference of mine though. Got the Bazooka Vets, not much has changed aside from just their coats. Got the Flame Vets. Got the AA Vets. That's the Mortar Vets. There's Assault. And then there's the Demolition Crew from the Operation Nautilus. And finally, Naval. We got their Frigate. Battleship. I was gonna be like, where did we get a battleship? And then I realized, oh wait, no, you get the battleship in. Actually, no, no, you only get it in the the co-op mission. I thought you had it during like a story mission, or, or, or no, wait, yeah, they show up during the, the, the Anglo campaign during the the cleanup squad segment. And then there's the dreadnought. Subs, on the other hand, I don't think actually show up in this game. As, aside from you see them on like a dry dock in some of the some of the online stuff, you don't actually ever get to play as a uh, Tundra and Sub or even see them. I mean, it's cool that they were able to make a model for them and all. Just it's just weird that some of the things in this game you don't get control of. Like they made a model for the Frontier Battle Station, but it's been decommissioned, so you couldn't play as it, even though they did rework it to work with the the motion controls. Alright. And finally we'll show off Exylvania and uh my should I show off the concept art for some of these things or should I just nan just go to break? So here, uh do it. All right. Might as well show off this game some more just because I want to. Uh, Exobay and Grunts look kind of how they did in the first game. However, the noticeable change is the fact that they actually do have a filter under gas mask. In, in the first game, it was just literally a, a gray bag of their head. There's the uh, Bazooka Vets. As you can see, you can tell how very vampire-ish they are. I think, uh, no, not the acid gas, although it's a weird design. It's like he's sucking on the respirator because it's not, like, attached to anything. I guess maybe attached to the helmet and the goggles. Yeah, this is actually probably the best one. Uh, as you can see, they got the glowing red eyes, gray skin, sharp nails. They're, they're vampires. Here is the mortar bed. Uh, nothing really much to say. What is going on with that? That's a really weird way to load a mortar uh, gun, dude. It's just like, all right, here's the here's the trigger. Here's the firing mechanism. You load the mortars underneath the the handguard, though, or underneath like the grip. I thought that was just like a, a visual bug, but no, that's actually how it goes. And I guess it just shoots out here and then pops out the top, maybe. Probably one of my favorite designs of these guys is their assault vets. I don't know why. I, I think it's the helmet, but I, I just, like, enjoy their design for this. Also, enjoy the grunts. I really like the grunts. Although, I don't think there's, like, any grunt in this game that I don't like. Uh, Recon. Didn't see any of them in this game, but they were, uh, 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 there was a plethora of them in the first game. Light tank. Uh, got a rework in this game, actually, because in the first game, the uh, little side turret right here was a flamethrower. In this one, to keep it in style at the vet's use acid gas, it turned into an acid gas sprayer. Which always made more sense to me. Here's a heavy tank. Not much to say. It's pretty interesting design. I always found it weird that the turret is, like, off to the side and not centered. The battle station uh, got a rework as well. It did originally did not have this little pod up here for the the main cannons. The cannons actually were like mounted to the side of them. In fact, you can kind of see the spot where it looks like they took the cannons off and moved them up there. Why is this not moving? There we go. 
There's the AA. Again, really weird designs. They like having like uh, very like off-center designs for their vehicles. I say off-center when the main thing of their artillery is literally to be in the center. It's like, here's the gunner position. Here's the driver's seat and the gun position. It's like literally right behind it. So it's got to be a pain in the ass to drive. You, you literally, you have to be staring down the barrel of this thing to know where you're going. So Next Level Games has done has done great when it comes to Nintendo series reviews. What if they uh, took on Battalion Wars 3? Well, seeing as how... Oh. What comes in series rev revives? Uh, I'd be down for it. I, I just want the series to have a, a proper conclusion. I feel like the thing about this series was Battalion Wars 1 came out at the end of the GameCube uh, life cycle. This game came out at the end of the Wii life cycle, so you kind of figured that Battalion Wars 3 would come out at the end of the Wii U life cycle. And I feel like the Wii U would have been like the best console to use for a series like this because the touchpad controls could help you direct troops better. And you know, it would have been... It was probably the best thing they could have had for a strategy game. And yet they never capitalized on it. Like, I don't... Was there ever a Fire Emblem game for the, ga for the Wii U? Because I don't think there was, which is like a huge wasted opportunity if not. Alright, so might as well show out the gunships. Interesting design, very like small and cramped and such. Here's the fighters. Uh, oh yeah, there's a tail gunner. Got the bombers. I think there's. Yeah, it's uh, just two like side mounted. Actually, three. Hmm. Does Nintendo own this series? Uh, they, they published the series. It It's basically a spin-off of Advanced Wars. Originally, this game was going to be an Advanced Wars game, and that's actually a Nintendo property. There's a Strato. Uh, you can actually look up the alpha footage, which I think we might do before we go into the next game, just so I can show it off. And uh, from what I've also discovered, the, like, the during the credits of the first game, apparently some of the artwork in it, it is actually like character portraits from uh, advanced the Advanced Wars build of this. And finally, Naval. Don't ever... Uh, once again, off to the side. Uh, only get to use these things, or actually only ever get to see like a majority of these things in like their Naval mission on the online stuff. Aside from the battleship, we already saw the battleship during the ice station mission. Uh, Dreadnought, we saw one of those. We had to blow up a, th a fleet of them. And the submarines, which... Interesting design, but it's actually better than the Solar Empire one, to be honest. Alright. Uh, finally, might as well show off some concept art. I think I have a concept art unlocked on this profile. Who knows, maybe Nintendo will make a collection of Advanced Wars and include these as a bonus. That'd be nice. I would really like to see Advanced Wars make a comeback. The closest thing we ever got to an Advanced Wars game in recent times was Wargroove, which is a spiritual successor, so it's technically not Advanced Wars proper. But I would love to see Nintendo try to give it some more love. And from the looks of it, I think since Free, uh, Three Houses is done, they may be taking a break from Fire Emblem. Alright, I think we, sh we show off the Solar Empire one, so might as well show off the boys. So there we go, we got Herman and Betty. Got some of the Solar Empire, or Solar Empire, the Frontier uh, buildings. Got some concept art for some other Frontier buildings. Got a Frontier Fort. Some These actually are some pretty nice, like, art pieces. Like, I really, like, dig these concept arts. If I could find, like, a, a proper sized version of them... I definitely, especially this one, I would set it as like a background to my computer. It's the boys! One thing I really like is like the color and shading they do for their vehicles in these uh, concept art things because it looks really nice. Like, holy hell, this is good. 
I wish I could get my hands on like a booklet or something or a concept art booklet for, uh, for this game because I really would like to have it in the office. Let's see, there's the AA gun, there's our artillery. There's the battle station, which is the old design for the battle station, which makes me think that uh, a lot of the concept art for, that was in here is actually Battalion Wars 1 concept art. There's the heavy tank. There's the light tank, which is one of my favorite vehicles in this series proper. Yep, uh, this has to be uh, the first game's concept art, because that's the heavy recon from the first game, which does not show up in this one. Uh, I think somewhere here... Not there, not there. No? Uh, no, it has to be here. I know for a fact there, there was concept art for an unused Frontier vehicle. Huh. M maybe it's just the modeler. Uh, originally, there was going to be land transports. Uh, it was basically going to be APCs, but I guess they couldn't really think of, like, fun missions to work around with them because... Well, I mean, the air transports were fast, and the naval transports you had to, you know, maneuver around to protect. So, I guess it was just like, uh, we can't really do anything with the land transports, but apparently the Frontier and the Exylvanians both had transports in that case. Let's see, there's the Anglos, so there's Windsor and Pierce. There's their vehicle, or their buildings. Why do I keep saying vehicles? Some more really nice uh, concept art for levels. Honestly, looking at this, it makes me think this is a Valkyria game. Because I've actually been playing Valkyria Chronicles 5 uh, not too long ago. And there's a level that looks almost similar to this. Let's see, there's uh, more concept art. Something that looks like uh, right out of Star Wars. It reminds me of the the Gendi like Clone Wars series. Like there there was like a scene that took place on like a it was like a like a cliffside like battle going on. A house with all the guns, one gun for every room. There's their troops. There's the I believe that's the flame vet and also the grunts. He looks so sad. Ah, here. All the proper vets, they had, like, their weapons, their backpacks, and also the different headpieces they would wear. Once again, weaponized bagpipes. Here's your transports. Bombers. Fighters. Uh, the Strato Destroyer, which never got past the concept art stage. You can't see a model of it anywhere. But, yeah, originally they were going to have a Strato. But, again, probably due to, like, control issues, they really couldn't implement it. Let's see, there's our artillery. There is the heavy tank, which still looks like a mess to me. Light tank. And then there's our navy. You start doing concept art for the game idea I got? Go for it, dude. I would love to see what you had in mind for your game stuff. Let's see, that looks... Yeah, that's... They actually had concept art for all the Legion, like, uh, buildings. I was gonna say, I don't remember ever seeing a Legion HQ, but then I remembered. No, wait. It was actually a part of one of the assault missions for multiplayer. I don't think we've ever seen a Legion uh, dockyard, but then again, we don't have any naval units for the faction, so that's probably why. Some more really good concept art. That one building just has a Halo Energy sword on it. Which building? Ah, there we go. Are, are you talking about the HQ right here? You're, you're talking about, like, this thing right here, the antenna. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Let's see, there's the, the vets. Only for mortar assault in AA. No flame vet. 
Oh, no, wait, no. No, that is mortar. No flame vets, huh? Let's see. I believe that's the bomber. That's the fighter. That's the gunship. Artillery. The battle station. Again, really nice color and shading on it. That is... I think a proto-design for the heavy tank? Yeah, that, that's a proto-design. Like, the guns are a little bit more further back, but I recognize, like, the little shovel thing they got at the front, and also the, the overall layout of it. Really like hiding the Legion in Nexylvania in the faces, huh? Well, I mean, you, uh, you can kind of see the, what the Legion faces look like when you look at their troops. So there's the Tundra and stuff. I, why, I don't know why, but the Tundra and Grunt in this concept art looks really anime to me. And, and the Assault Vet just looks like, why am I here? What did I sign up for this? Let's see, so there's the bomber, there's the fighter, gunship, uh, AA vehicle, which shows up at the final cutscene, and also uh, online. Which is weird that it shows up in the final cutscene of the final mission, when we really could have used it, but I guess they wanted an excuse to give the Solar Empire something, so they decided to scrap using the, the Tundran AA vehicle for the Solar Empire ones. Let's see, battle station... There's a heavy tank, light tank, the heavy recon from the first game, and that's it. And finally, the Exylvanians. Yeah, a lot, a lot more like uh, sketched art for their like area concepts. I don't think. Oh no, wait, there is some. Uh, I think that is actually, uh, the Advanced Wars build. That looks like a vehicle from, uh, Under Fire. And that does not look like any Frontier Grunt I've ever seen. Or, hmm, look at the top part of that. That might be a Legion Grunt. Hmm, I actually don't know who that would be. Again, I think that just might be, like, the original alpha build concept art. Let's see. Bomber. Fighter. Gunship. Strato. AA, which looks a l Honestly, right here, I know it's supposed to be, like, the four guns on it. And you can tell from, like, right here. It looks like a rail gun at this point. Artillery, battle station uh, from the first game because it's got the guns welded to the side of it. There's the heavy. There's uh, the unused uh, ground transport. Yeah, troop carrier. And you see, it's like it's like a half track thing. There's the light tank. There's the recon. Battleship, uh, the dr Dreadnought, yeah, that's a Dreadnought, the Frigate, subs, and that's it. Let me tell you, it was a pain to get the uh, concept art for the Exylvanians, because to do so, you had to get a S rank on all the Tundran missions. And you know how hard it was, but anytime you get an S rank on all the missions, you actually do get like a nice little gold border around uh, the back of each of the nation, like logos. But yeah, that was Battalion Wars. All right, I think we I've been rambling enough. Let's go to break. Uh, that was a really fun challenge, even though we couldn't really finish it in the end. Uh. Still, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. We, we got as far as we could with what we could. Granted, it kind of was impossible to do the challenge when I didn't even have the troops to do it at the very end, but semantics. 
I would actually not mind coming back and doing another challenge for this series in the future. Another one I had would be the other concept for it was... Um... The, uh... Just have my troops do all the fighting. I can't do any fighting whatsoever. So I would have to... If I wanted to get a mission done, I can't attack, period. I'd actually have to direct all my forces to attack in my stead. So, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future, maybe sometime next year or the year afterwards, or who knows, maybe later in this year. Uh, I might return to the series and we might do that as a challenge. Or maybe someone else could come up with a good challenge. Who knows? But for now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for me to take a break because I need some water badly. So, when I get back, seeing as how we are done with the challenge tonight, I figured I would take a look at a game that I recently got that I've been really interested in for a good while. So, when I get back, let's say, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, no. <clears throat> let's say we play a little bit of Loop Hero. I've been really interested in it, and I really want to show it off to everybody, so I think that's what we'll do. I'll be back in just a bit.
All right, Anna back, and I got the window open for Cocons. Let's get into the game, shall we? I need to bring it up, though. There we go. Definitely need to turn it down, though. Holy hell, that is loud. Hello? Hey, how's it going? I've been doing fine. Linton got a slushy. You, before you start streaming. Hey, man. Alright, keep it at that. Keep it at that. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so have either of you seen this game or heard of, it, heard of this game? Not at all. Yeah, first time with me, too. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I mean, the heartless have been around for a while. <laughs> I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before, before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. And this is why I don't go out to the pub at 3 a.m. You start seeing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I need to turn the volume down just a little bit more. Alright. So, basically, what this game is, is you walk along... Along a path, and you fight monsters. The monsters drop cards, and you use that to basically rebuild the world around you because the world was destroyed in an apocalyptic nature. Literally, this is all that's left of the world is this pathway. Everything around it's a black void, and we need to slowly start uh, rebuilding everything. Hmm. So, Kingdom Hearts 3's card system, if it was good, or not Kingdom Hearts, uh, Chain of Memories. Careful, there are people there are fans of that game and he'll they'll go after you. <laughs> I never could never get in the chain of memories card system. To be fair, I never could either. <laughs> Alright. To change between adventure traveling through the map and planning stop modes, press the switch, uh, or right click for space. My friend Matt, he uh he did a chain of memories using the collection hundred percent, and he got both Sora and Riku to level ninety nine. That sounds like absolute hell. He said it was. <laughs> Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall, if such a thing as a night sh still even exists without a sky, of course. <laughs> Pay attention to the day process bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. All right. Well, is this not entirely just eternal night? No, nah, apparently there's still the sun. It just doesn't exist. Know. A living ball of slime? Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Alright, so fighting in this game is actually automatic, so you don't have to worry about it. The thing you really need to focus on is any drops that enemies get, so you, like uh, the card right there or the weapon that we just got. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. So we'll take this battle axe and we'll put it right there. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are, are these even my memories or do they belong to the slime? You can use the card that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. 
Hmm. Oh god, is a chain of okay, memories. Right over there. Yeah, basically, it you're trying to piece together what the world looks like from memories. So, yeah, it's chain of memories. The little uh, icon down there with the skull next to it, as we place things, uh, there's a chance that a boss will appear once that bar fills up. So, it's basically a risk versus reward. If you die, then you lose like a majority of the things you collect on your adventure. But if you decide to leave, then you're able to take everything with you. You just can't fight the boss. It just depends on how lucky you are with your rolls. So, is this like a roguelike or...? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a roguelike. Hmm. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad... Damn! It's good that nobody is listening. Well, do they know <laughs> they're items. on camera? <laughs> you can get new items and cards during battle, as you probably have already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over the item, you can see what it is. So the forest, uh, a thick forest, nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside. It makes you a bit nervous. You get attack speed up for it. Rocks, this magnificent uh, appearance gives you strength. So we get 2 HP for it, and 2 more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain by it. So we take this, and we'll put it up in the corner over there. And we'll take this forest, and we'll put it right in the center. And then we get the, the stuff from it. Hmm. Oh, right. Your sword. Great, so there was a mountain over there, and here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Some of your actions will yield resources that you will need to later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. So we can open our backpack and see what, what's there. This game looked interesting, but it probably wouldn't be for me, because I never like could games like card system stuff. Well, the card systems don't really... Uh, it's just to add to the world around it. It's not, like, for combat. Mm -hmm. Again, the only thing for combat is any of the things you get from fallen monsters that you need to make a choice on what's good. Like, do you want something with vampirism so you heal up? Or do you want something that attacks faster or does more critical damage or more critical chance? So it's like that. The card system is just basically to build the world around you. Mm -hmm. And the game pauses uh, when you're doing this, so you don't have to worry. It's like... Something's coming up, and you have to choose where you want it. You can actually take your time with it. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide uh, when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can restart almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safe to do so. So we'll retreat for now. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both those problems. I'm going to build. Build ourselves a campfire. And put it right there. And so now, uh, you can go on another expedition, or we can start building stuff. So we can start building an herbalist hut, a smithy, or a field kitchen. But we need a lot more, like, food, rocks, and wood for that. And just basically, you start building up a community. So you got like lumberjacks, you got alchemists, uh, watchtowers, intel centers, crypts, all that stuff. It, it's really, uh, really fun. I've seen a lot of people stream this game, and I really wanted to experience it for myself. Okay, here's a little bit of uh, theory cracking. What if the world isn't destroyed? They just have amnesia. Uh, It'd be a theory, except for the fact that we literally saw the world get ripped apart by that lich-looking creature at, during the intro. Listen, drugs are one hell of a thing. <laughs> this path, everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like 
have a choice. If I need to give up and carry on to save the world, I am the worst savior of all. I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. <laughs> and thus the, the adventure begins. Every single time you load into a new expedition, the path is completely randomized. Sometimes they can be small like the first one, other times they can be big like this, and we got ourselves a vampire mansion. Great. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Let's see. Give ourselves some armor, give ourselves a shield. Vampire mansion. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Put it right there. Now, the thing is, like, a lot of thing, a lot of the creatures that you come across in this actually do have, like, lore stuff to them and, like, their place in this game's world, which I really like. It's not like just, oh, you add more mindless monsters. It's something that actually had a history with this, with this like, character. Hmm. You got a battlefield. Uh, it smells of blood and steel, spawns a chest at the start of each loop, enemies on adjacent tiles become ghosts. Let's put it... Uh, I'll put it right there. I think this speeds it up. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, so I watch a, a guy called Juno Songs on YouTube, and recently he's been doing, uh, adding lyrics to the boss themes to Paper Mario the Origami King. Oh? And he finally got it all done finishing off with the fight against King Ollie. Guess how long the video is? I'm gonna say half an hour. Uh, close. It's actually 21 minutes. Wow. Well, because he he, has, he does voice. There's voice acting in it, and he goes through each phase of the fight. Ah. Yeah, the last two songs he did were uh, the uh, Hand of Conda and King Ollie. Has he done it for all the bosses? He, uh, not the developmentals, but he did do it for all the Legion of Stationery. What about the like the the giant blooper boss? No, he, he just did it for Legion of Stationary, Hanaconda, and King right. Ollie. Okay, so the main bosses. Yeah, which uh, Hanaconda has a pretty good lyric. Mario Soleil is victim in my Rochambeau constriction. <laughs> that is pretty good. Oh, I forgot spiders. Uh, let's see, spawn spider and the adjacent tile. And the metal heals two HP at the start of each day. <sighs> So how long do you go along this track? You, you can go as many times as you want. It's infinite until you decide when you want to leave or you get killed. Hmm. And I guess in kills, basically just game over and restart. No, uh, if you die, it kicks you back to your camp, but you lose like a major, like around seventy-five percent of the things you collect on your journey. Hmm. Right there, we'll put a meadow down here. Surprised there's no vampires yet. You figured they, it's been like three days, they would have popped out by now. Well, that's the thing, it's day. Uh, go with evasion. This game kind of looks like one of those old uh, MS DOS games, just with higher graphics a little bit. Yeah, I can see it. Uh,. It kind of reminds me like a more pixelated version of Darkest Dungeon, just by the character designs. Like the, the hero design really reminds me of like something you, someone you'd see in Darkest Dungeon. Is it Advanced Darkness? Yeah. Well, I mean, there is a, a dark void around us, so yes. That's another game I need to revisit. Well, a Battle for Bikini Bottom or Darkest Dungeon? Uh, no, Dark Void. Ah. That is such an unfortunate series, and... It, it, it was an interesting idea, and it was a really fun game at times, but... I don't know, something happened development-wise, and it couldn't... Uh... Get, like, its full potential. Mostly because it tries to rip off Half-Life at, at, like, the 75% the uh, mark. Ooh, what's that? Uh, isn't there... Damage to all 
regen. Ooh, that's good. Yes. Isn't there isn't there one game uh, coming from Square Enix recently? Uh, Battle in Wonderland. Aren't people getting disappointed by it? Yeah, from what I've heard, uh, apparently the devs of that game have taken notice of like the feedback for, that people have had with the demo of it, and they're fixing it. But from what I've heard, it's not as good as people were hoping. Mm. I like the art style and look of it, but seeing the gameplay, it looks pretty janky, and the animations aren't too good. Damage, do I want to sacrifice the damage to all for 10% vampirism? Health-wise, I'm good. Evasion's 6%, though. This is one of the other things with this. It's just like, uh, do, do I want to sacrifice something I have that's a higher tier for something that has a better effect on it? I'll save it for now. Oh, yeah, TBG also saw something we could, uh, do. We could try and do a Portal 2 co-op, either the story mode, or just try and do community <laughs> test chambers. Oh, no. <laughs> and just lose our minds trying to figure out what we're trying to tell each other to do. <laughs> Alright, that sounds good. Uh, there's a- I may have made a mistake with the spiders. That where we get to that maze game, and I'm just a dick trying to control the buttons while you're going through it. <laughs> right. This is it. Yep, there we go. So, make a 3x3, three three, uh, it turns any rock and mountain range into a mountain peak. Uh, let's see. Uh, gives you 120 HP, 5 additional HP for every adjacent mountain rock tile, and spawns a harpy every two days. Oh, and now that we've progressed even further, a goblin camp showed up. Uh, spawns a goblin in an adjacent tile once a day, appears for every ten um, mountain and rock tiles. So the more mountain and rocks we put out there, the more goblin camps will start spawning into our area. TBG, when you meet the harpy, hopefully you won't harp on the fight. Ooh. Alright, hold on. I'll get the chest Ow. first. Alright, what do we got? Uh, not as good damage, but it gives me some pretty decent counter. Uh, defense is weaker, damage to all region, and gives me vamp. You know what? Let's grab that. And let's put a groove. Let's put it right there. Treasury, thick walls. Let's see, put that right there. So anytime we put rocks or. Uh, I think. Uh, meadows around it, it will start uh, giving me resources. At the same time, uh, let's see. Oh, I think we actually have to clear it out first because it does have a limit. I don't know why, but this is all making me think of like the original Fallout, and I don't know why. I'll put that right there. Being of Fallout, the uh, Fallout board game, I have not been able to play it yet because it is a confusing game. Oh, yeah? Like, me and my sister and her boyfriend, we tried reading through the rules, and it's like, what the fuck? Oh. Oh no. What does it expect from you? It they actually tried like, fully replicate exploring a wasteland as if it's, it's the same in the game, where you're just like, walking through an open world. Th does it have like, a tabletop or like, a, a board to it, or is it like, card based? It has a board and it is both token and card based. Hmm. Ooh. Strategy basically. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the Doom board game is still pretty complicated, but not as complicated. Because there's a Doom board game. Yes, I have it. It uh. Oh boy. Four, one to uh four players play as Marines, and then the fifth player here in that group will play as a Demon Master, basically. Uh oh. Back off, human. A vampire? Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. 
It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good. So be grateful for, for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. So yeah, uh, the the vampires in this game aren't like, uh, like mindless monsters. They're actually what were consider considered the nobles uh, back in the day. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped with the settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Also, uh, we got a harpy coming our way. Hopefully he's not a pain in the ass to deal with. But yeah, the Doom board game. Basically, four players are marines, and then another player controls all the demons. Huh. Ah, mm. oh, crap. Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you got. <sighs> you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore an order to this world first, and then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob. No other order in this world. Fair enough, I guess. I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait, I do have one. How about... Stab. Also, there's a vampire here, which is bad. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of good things. It's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Alright, I need to pause real quick. Uh, let's see what we got. I'll put that on. Defense 2, attack speed, and evasion go up. Yeah, let's put that on. Damage to all, defense, attack speed, and vampire. That's much better than what we have now. Defense A, defense 10, but doesn't have all those buffs. Nah. Alright, let's go. Wow, there are a lot of vampires out today. Holy hell. Defense 3, Vampirism 10. Nah. So, I might need to get something with more Vampirism because I'm certain to take some damage. <laughs> oh god, I just realized what's right in front of camp. That's a lot of monsters. Oblivion. A bit of delicious magic caused anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles, erases monsters from the road. Let's do that and get rid of that goblin camp. Uh, yes, yeah, a tabletop game. Yeah, I, I sent pictures of the Doom board game into the, uh, into the game chat. Yep. A lot of pieces. I had to pop all of those out. Uh-oh. How oh, great, there's another harpy. And the cyber demon is in the game, but, uh... He's too big to properly fit in the bag with the rest of the pieces, so you have to attach his arms and head. Mm. <laughs> Alright, now that we clear out the treasury, it's an empty one. It spawns a gargoyle every three days. Oh dear. Hopefully it's like the Disney version. Let's see, Red Lantern, look at that right here. So can you also place down helpful towns? 
Uh, no. Technically, the only town in this game is her camp. Oh. Yeah, that's why we're building it up into a town. Uh, let's see. Counter 12. Defense goes up to 12 and evasion. I'd lose the vampirism, though. If he goes down, attack speed, nah. Given how the battle emissions play out, it looks like when you hit the slime, it's just rebounding onto you. That's not actually trying to attack you. <laughs> well, I mean, they are very rubbery, so... No. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away, we see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving, the, your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine, I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin, for them to be strong and to live, it is a part of the cycle of life and death. It is the life itself. It is the world. Hmm. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please, try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye! Ooh. I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm becoming the source of another. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountains were cut from reality. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, 13% vampirism. You see, void juice is actually quite filling. <laughs> Next we regen- ooh, regen- yeah, I'm gonna swap that out. Alright, I think we'll do one more loop and then we'll probably head back to camp. Oh, crap, there's a ghost. Ooh. And now the ghost is dead. Wait. How does I... I know what I said. I, uh... Just go with it. Just go with it. I will not go with it. <laughs> Just sit back and enjoy the ride. But I want okay. off the ride. The ride never ends. Alright, let's pause everything. Let's put that there. Remember. Let's see, spiders will put that right there. Vampires will put right there. Put a cemetery right there. I want to use Oblivion on that uh, empty treasury to make another mountain range or mountain peak, but at the same time, I want to see what the gargoyle is. So we'll hold off on it. I remember when uh, Mr. Beast he did, had his friends do a challenge for, like, I think it was uh, 2,000 bucks. Whoever's team could stay on the roller coaster the longest wins. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they were... What, what roller... What one was it? Oh, I forgot. I'll look at the video really quick. Ew. Oh, crap. We might be in trouble. I don't think he had a loop. I don't think he was that cool. Polearm. Damage, defense, attack speed, damage, evasion. I'm gonna take that pole arm. Uh, vampirism's coming in really useful, so I'm gonna save that. So many vampires! Huh? 
Oh, we are in trouble. <laughs> Although, I'm technically not helping out with this vampire situation. Uh, he, they don't say which roller coaster is, but it is at Six Flags, and I was wrong. It's not $2,000, it was $20,000. Ooh, wow. Up oh, there's Gargoyle. Yeah, apparently they took over 100 laps. 100? Yes. They were there until the sun uh, was going down. Oh, God. I. How anyone could survive that is beyond me. Two thousand. Twenty thousand dollars, TBG. I know, but still. Twenty thousand is not that much. It's still money in your pocket, and all you have to do is stay in a roller God. coaster. Damn it! Of course, it, the gargoyle would have to fly over there. Uh, do I risk another loop, or should I cut my losses? Mm. Health. I, I'm already past like the halfway point of my health. I think I might have to cut my losses here. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Vampirism, 8%, attack speed. Uh, nah. Houston, we may have a problem. Oh, God, of course he had to become a ghost. TVG, Houston's dead. Oh no! So is space. Space is dead. I might have to cut my losses after this chest and harpy. Oh god, there's another goblin face here as well. Let's see, counter and defense go up. See what says defense, defense, regen per second. Yeah, I'll put that there, I'll put that there for more defense. Just keep building more meta. Oh god, that is a lot of wolves. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Pet the wolf. Just give it a bone, you'll tame it. <laughs> Alright. We got a lot of good stuff, so let's retreat for now. Alright. Oop. I can't believe it! Hey everybody, the boy has managed to return! Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place with, without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached the conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yoda. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything's forgotten. But what? You said that I'd managed to return? Does that mean you remember I was here? Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these t dark times, don't... What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted, but... We'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad, be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to, a place where I can hear other people's voices. 
We weren't joking about helping you. There are a few things that survived the cataclysm and don't didn't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Ooh. Oh, uh, game. You might actually have enough to build two items. Game facts is is pretty bad with its takes and all that. Do you know what they said regarding uh, Rayman for Smash? Uh, Rayman. What? Rayman is only slightly above Gino on the obscurity scale, in my opinion. What? Yes, Rayman. <laughs> Alright, let's build ourselves a field kitchen. Let's see. Plus 10% to the campfire's healing power. Unlocks the Blood Grove card. Ugh. <laughs> potions heal you. Heal 4% of your max HP. You can take up the three potions with you. Two potions auto refuel at camp. Unlock unlocks the swamp card. Let you start an expedition with basic warrior gear. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp if supply depot is built. How do you guys say the the character of one of the best selling 2D platformers on the Switch is more is only slightly more obscure than Gino? <laughs> Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. And the kitchen is on fire. <laughs> no, that's just when I'm cooking. What, you were waiting for something something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special, everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table following the tasty smell of a good stew. Alright. So now we can work towards building a refuge. Unlocks new class, uh, the rogue. Uh, in this dire times, it's your duty to offer help to the needy. It can only be built next to the field kitchen. Or a gym, a place where you can learn how to read, write, and be polite. To your teacher, physically training takes physical training takes priority. Unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in expeditions, and unlocks the village card. I don't. Oh, so I guess there is actually villages that you can put into the world. I don't know why, but now I just want a uh, meatloaf. Mm, loaf. Bringing meatloaf with right. a set of ketchup and mashed potatoes. Oh, I see. So the more cards you have, uh, uh, the more dangerous it gets. Oh, no, I know. What's this? Chrono Crystals. Crystals, he doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Oh, I can only have t uh, 12. Uh, what should we get rid of then? Uh, let's see. Spons chest chests are good. Can be placed near a forest adjacent to the road. Its roots devour enemies that have less than fifteen percent HP. I say we go... Let's get rid of the vampires for now. <laughs> TBG, I feel old. I just found out Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is almost 10 years old. Uh, really? Yes, it came out in 2014 originally. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm aging before my eyes. <laughs> And 3D World, the game we're playing right now, is almost 10 years old as well. That came out in 2013. Uh, the Wii U is almost a decade old. Holy hell. That right there. Is this what growing up feels like? Because I don't like it. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. I don't like it either. I don't like adulthood. Adulthood sucks. Boo. Alright, there we go. Gotta grow more cats. Let's see. 
Uh, let's put the grow. Let's put the grove right here before the the base. TBG, uh, I know how to make you real feel old. real feel really old. Oh god. Next what, year, what you say? the wheat. Next year, the original 3DS is 10 years old. Uh, stop making me feel old, dude. <laughs> I'm making myself feel old. Moon? Oh no, Moon's aged to dust. <laughs> oh, Night Moon. Hang on a second. Battlefield. Battlefield would be a good right here. I heard you saying you're gonna say something about the Wii. What were you gonna say about that? You were gonna say the Wii is like two decades old at this point or something. Let me see when the Wii originally released. Let's see, Chrono Crystals. Let's put it. Uh, I'm gonna say that actually. TBG. The Wii came out November nineteenth, two thousand and six. Oh my, you really want me to use these Chrono Crystals. Actually, a good place for them would be by the battlefield, because that way it will double the effects of getting chess. You want to know how I know the gank is going to be a good... The gank is 20. You want to know how I know that? How so? I was born the same year the game you the GameCube came out. Mm. Oh my god, time time flies. Oh god, I hate that it does. It's probably a mistake, but yeah, putting two spider nests right next to each other. No. TBG, you want to feel old even more? Oh god. The original Battalion Wars came out in 2005. I already knew that one. Yeah, but it's weird to think that... God. It's weird to think it's already 15 years from some of these games. Like, when did the original DS come out? I'm curious about that. I think that was like 2007? The original DS came out November 21st, 2004. Hmm. Oh, wait. See. Yeah, definitely. So you're preparing for Mario's public ex execution? Oh god. I'm hyped. <laughs> see. Road Lantern. I'm so confused as to right why Nintendo have been doing Mario's 35th anniversary the way they've been doing it. Oh, yeah, I definitely made a mistake with the spiders. Oh, no. Oh, God! Listen, spiders are always a mistake. I probably should have just replaced the spider card, now that I think about Do it. Do they have mouths on their abdomens? No, it, it's just like, it looks like a thing that just, like, splits open and then shoots out at me. It looks like a mouth. Either that, it's like there's, it looks like they're, like, spraying webs. It looks like a tongue poking me. And here's a question. I wonder if you can uh, get party members. It might be a card, but I doubt it. It looks like there's space for party members. What? All right, I need that right there. Are there spider species that have stingers, Moon? 
Yeah, there, there's spiders that have stingers. I did not know that. Alright, almost got a mountain range ready. Or mountain peak. I also need to be looking at my items. Let's see. Nothing good. Okay. Oh, there's a bag. I got Jack Diddley and Squat. I'll take the Gladius. Skeleton. Oh god, he hurts. Wow, does he hurt. Give me that. Any better evasion. Oops. Jesus so, Christ, the Xbox yeah. One is also almost 10 years old. No. It came out October 2013. Oh god. I gotta look at PS4 now. Alright, All right. spiders gotta go. Oh, wait, I could have used it on the spiders themselves. Ah, well. Ooh, treasury. I'll put that right there. Ooh. We may have a problem. That's a lot of wolves down there. Oh, lord. Damage to all. Attack speed. Counter. Counter. Uh, regen, evasion, and vampirism. That's better. Original PS4 is also 2013. Not right there. Get all those resources, and we'll start uh, building around the treasury. Yeah, I know it's not that old, Moon. It's only like a decade for a console, but it's like it's it still makes me feel old. That's been that long already. Magic damage counter. Regen per sec, and yeah, that's actually better. I am dreading going through those woods. You just hide behind a tree. I don't want to go. <laughs> Thankfully, that blood grove is right there, so it'll help me take care of these wolves. What's a blood grove do? Uh, when enemies are at 15% health, it actually will consume them. Oh. That's horrifying. That's why it's called a blood grove. All right, what do we got? Uh, counter's good. Armor, evasion goes up. HP, nah, it's only by a bit. Nah. Ooh, lots of stuff. Put that there. Put that there. We might actually be able to clear out this treasury. Oh, okay, so apparently uh, the new Ratchet and Clank game has a demo out now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I hope after this one we get... What the hell is that thing? Something big and red just appeared on the map. Oh, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm terrified. What, what were you saying about uh, Ratchet and Clank? I hope after this Ratchet and Clank, they they decide to give the, the series a break for a bit. Seriously, like give us something new. It, Ratchet and Clank is nice, but it's like you have two other platform series you could be looking into. They're right there. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Uh, let's see. Defense, vampirism. Oh, definitely. Where's the medieval hairspray? Hmm? Or risk so you could just do a fire spell. <laughs> Quote unquote, realistically. Uh, damn, I don't have Oblivion. I only have Skyrim. <laughs> God damn, I was gonna make a Skyrim joke. You could have gone old school in the end. You could have just said, uh, more wind. Or dagger fall. Uh, no, actually, I want to really uh, see what that gargoyle is all about. It's, it's so weird to. That's all anyone ever associates the Elder Scrolls with now is Skyrim, because freaking Bethesda re, re released so much. It's at the point, it's just basically a meme at this at this point. 
Bethesda even made a joke about it, where it's like, we're releasing Skyrim for the Alexa. <laughs> oh, yes. But luckily, with the new uh, Elder Scrolls coming out, which we still haven't heard anything else on besides that announcement, like, what, two years ago at this point? It's probably going to fall through, and it's just going to be a new version of Skyrim. <laughs> I don't know. I, given that Microsoft is out of control, I trust something good will happen because, you know, greedy Todd Howard doesn't call him the shots. <laughs> Put a beacon's cover right there. I have so many beacons, I basically ha almost have the entire path covered. What do the beacons do? Uh, beacons, as soon as I get out of this fight, they uh, give you plus 40% movement speed within its range and 20% attack speed for all units. <laughs> Wait, all units? That means you must get party members at some point. That or it just means you plus the enemies. I would have helped the enemies if you're trying to. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All right. Uh, That's a lot of oblivion. wolves. That is. I'm taking out those goblins though. Nope. Cargo is out. You think someone could easily port this game to the uh, Super Nintendo or for Genesis? Uh, what the hell is that thing? Ugh, Flesh Golem. Hi, I'm Ted. Hi. We- oh, we might be in trouble. Oh, we most definitely are in trouble. Wow, he hits like a truck. He's a tank, Jesus. I mean, he, he drops a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's see, defense, 15, evasion, yes. Let's see. Counter, defense, regen per second. Kind of looks like the Goliath enemies from uh, Borderlands 2. When you shoot off their helmets and they just roid out. Kind of. I can see that. I, fr I can never get it to happen again, but I swear there was a Dragon Ball Easter egg. If you let them roid out enough, they get Super Saiyan hair. I, I don't think there was a Dragon Ball Easter egg associated with them. I... Then I don't know why I remember. Like I remember that happening one time, and I was playing when I was playing with buddies. Put that there. Put that there. I have no. Where the hell is this gargoyle going? Did you purposely not change your title, or... Hmm? Did you purposely not change your title, or... Do you just want to keep on to the... Game genre? Uh... Like, the, the challenge stream stuff? Yeah, your title's still saying challenge stream stuff, but you have it on Loop Hero as your well, game. Well, yep. But I also have, like, the, the plus checking out some other things, which is this. Alright. Uh, let's see, what's this? Not as much HP... Re 2.4 re- Ooh, that might- mm. Terms of all invasion, defense, mm, regen per second. I think I might go with this, just because I really do need that regen. I'm, yeah, I'm going with it. Oh, God. There, oh, no. Yeah, I think we're going to have to call it here. <laughs> Another flesh golem just popped up. I'm not fighting another one of those things because I will die. Oh, in terms of nin, uh, ninja, what are you gonna be trying out first? The uh, new striker mode? Yeah, probably, I'll I'll take a look at that. But and I thought you were gonna say in terms of weapons. Uh, I saw that a fan was one of them, like a Japanese. Yep, I'm, the fa the fan's gonna be the first thing I go for. <laughs> you just miss brawl, don't you? Yes. I miss slapping people with a paper fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that item and was... unfortunately, Yakuza does not scratch that itch. That item was so broken. Another success. You've returned, and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. 
My old memories of this world are gone, the path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting, so technically you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We've managed to tidy the place up, it's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen from cooks to alchemists, but they all need a place to work. But we can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone that you've found and it's gone. I'm afraid that you only can solve this problem with the materials that you that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and uh, splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you made. The thing you obtained somehow infect everything similar with stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Alright, uh, let's see. Should we save our stuff, or should we make an alchemist or herbalist type? We, we'd be able to get potions. Or should we start working our way towards making a refuge, a gym, or a smithy? Uh, I'd save the material, because maybe next on your bag you can do multiple things at once. Yeah, you're right. If we don't get anything for, like, another build or something, I, I'll probably just go with herbalist next time. That way I can, uh, get, like, healing items when I go on an expedition. Okay, TBG, how, right, how uh, often were you on the Newgrounds scene when it was popular? Newgrounds? Uh... I checked out a couple Flash games on it, but never really got into it big time. Where's that spider? There it is. Do you do? Do you know what? Uh, I believe the full name is Madness World is. No. Uh, I don't know much about it. All I know is that it was an old Newground series, and a character from it was properly coming to Friday Night Funkin' from like the actual development team, but someone has already made a mod bringing the character Tricky. And the track is essentially death metal for Friday Night Funkin', which is normally like yeah. hip hop and rap stuff. Huh. And it sounds interesting. It sounds super good though, but the track looks extremely tough. I, I can see what you mean, Moon. Yeah, I can, I can also see it, especially when uh, you looked at the vampire. So, Reggie, you haven't got any more vampire mansions yet. I I just uh, re-equipped them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can only have, like, a certain number of cards on you right now, and I swapped out the spiders for the vampires. So, does this game just have an end? Yes, uh, I think what we need to do is just keep building ourselves up until we can summon the boss and then fight him. Oh, so he's that skeleton dude is the only boss. Yeah, it, you saw like there was a one above, uh, like the icon before we went on expedition, which I'm gonna guess means chapter. Yeah. So I'm gonna say there's probably like three chapters in the game. Moon, I also see what you mean. It definitely is also the art style. Gives off a uh, Symphony of the Night feel. Alright, what do we got? Damage to all, defense and vampirism, or counter vampirism. I kind of always like to prioritize being able to heal over countering. Finding my graphics card was a pain in the ass because I didn't know until I started looking into it. But the stock market for uh, graphics cards recently has been overrun with scalpers. Yeah, they're everywhere nowadays. I've seen. Hopefully, they businesses finally find an issue to deal with them. Hopefully, but I'm not holding out hopes because I spent a little over. Two hundred and eighty dollars for mine. Jeez. I'd rather spend that than over a thousand dollars. Well, yeah. 
That's kind of a given. The one I got is a EV EVGA G4 GTX 1060. I'm gonna guess that's a good one. My buddy man recommended getting a 1060 graphics card heard for what I'm going for, so I'd say it is. There, start building another peak. What's that little orb at the top mean next to adventure? Uh, adventure. Where do you see that? Oh, that that's uh the mode. So like it's closed. That's mean we're in planning. So it stops everything around us. Ah, okay. Oh, what's this? Ooh, definitely. Hmm. Uh, keep it. Oh, much better. What do we have in terms of stuff? We've got rations, we've got wood, rocks, and noticeable change. Insert wood joke here. <laughs> Let's see. Damage to all, defense, attack, and counter. Attack speed. Yep, that one. If you want to spread your feet out, move away from the uh, cords and lay down. Oh, let's see, spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Put that right there. Keep building around that treasury. So, kind of really, because the uh, goblin can't only really spawn around the path, right? Yes. Uh, it, it's only around the path and only after you put down, I believe it was, ten, like, rock or mountain tiles. Well, if you block off the, all the tiles that like, appear on, you can probably just, like, cut them off. No, because they'll still appear. Like, if I put, like, a grove over it or a cemetery over it, they'd still just appear. On top of it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. The, they, they were smart. They knew people would probably try that. Damn, they know how to cultivate. That's a lot of vampirism. Uh, nah, I'll keep it for now. Ooh. Health region, tax week, yes. Give me that. Hopefully my uh my stats update tomorrow because it's still I have forty five followers but path to affiliate still says I have thirty nine. Yeah, I think it, it it takes a bit, but you should be able to get it sooner or later. I think tomorrow I might do another long stream to try and make that final push. For... For affiliate. For your path... Yeah. Okay. Oh crap, there's goblins. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Kinda looks like a Bacoblin. Kind of, I can see it. Oh, 
the counter. Ooh, yes, definitely. You have the skeleton to make me think of. What? Hey, nice hat! Ha! Ah, I'm back! I just realized I've been going through this entire adventure without putting any armor on. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. TBG. Yes. How? I ask myself that question every day. Ask it more, damn it! No! Face your facts! So you've just been looking at it, moving around the inventory, saying, Okay, I'm equipped now, when you weren't. Honestly, I didn't even notice that I had armor on me, until th that one popped up. Apparently there was an armor piece beforehand, but I, I thought it was a shield. How do you confuse a chest plate with a shield? I mean, you can, you can use a chest plate as, as a shield. Yes, but one you wear, one you hold. To be fair, you can also just stick a, a, a shield onto your chest and it, then it becomes a chest plate. Yeah, then it's just a chest plate. No longer a shield. Imagine a game like this, but uh, it takes a more of a steampunk aesthetic. I feel like something like that already exists, but I don't know what. Hmm. Okay, okay, I think you saw my Discord, but uh, you saw the recent like Minecraft Lego set I did, right? Uh, I've seen the Discord, but I don't think I've seen the, the Minecraft Lego thing yet. Uh, it's basically the end with the Ender Dragon. But one of the mm -hmm. pieces has a coat on it. If I put that into the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, I get a free skin. Oh, cool. Did you, did you get it? Not yet. Defense? Ooh, yes, definitely. Yeah, it's weird. That skin is actually the Lego character. You don't... It's not Steve or Alex in the set. No, it's someone they label as the Dragon Slayer. This might be our last loop. Alright, what's the gargoyle? Oh, it's... It's nothing. I thought it would give me, like, lore stuff with it. It's just like, how dare you pilfer my treasury. But nope. It's just a mindless monster. How dare you use my ancestors' bodies to build your homes. I'm just realizing, we don't know our main character's name, do we? No, he does. He doesn't. He doesn't know his name or she. It's hard to tell with, with the the art style. I remember them saying a he at one point. Okay. But yeah, he doesn't know his name, and no one else knows his name. His name is now Frederick. Attack speed evasion. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Crap, that's not where I wanted to put that. In that case, let's get rid of that. So many treasuries, holy hell. Okay, I found something super cute while scrolling Twitter. Uh-oh. Someone uh, did a uh, Amori character portrait, but it's Ralse, a Chris, and Susie. <laughs> I think we might have another goblin, uh, camp. Nope. I'll keep that. Damage attack. I, I love that this tower shield is uh, something that gives me more attack speed.
Oh no, we got a Harpy and a Gargoyle. Alright, Gargoyle's dead. Evasion, magic damage, attack speed damage to all... Yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Regen for seconds. Game G, I feel old again. Why? Undertale came out in 2015. Damn, really? Yeah. Driving five years, Jesus. Good, nothing good. Damn, I'm just getting nothing good. Oh, uh, this is super cute. Someone on uh, Amazon is selling Switch cartridge holders, but the, it's in the shape of a Game Boy. I think I've seen that. I'd, I would love to get one, but at the same time, that would mean I'd have to sacrifice keeping the boxes. No, you can still keep- I keep my Switch case cases. I just keep uh, the cartridges in my uh, carrier case. Ah. I don't know. May maybe one day I'll, I'll get a, one of the special carrying cases. Uh, I have my satisfied grip carrying case, and I have a creeper case. Uh, let's see, fire as it feels... Oh, apparently... Is that how you get those? Huh. Invasion, vampirism. Yeah, give me that. TVG, the Banjo Kazooie amiibo is almost out. Oh, uh, yes. Did, did it, do we actually have a release date for it? Someone got theirs early. Ah. So it, it's probably coming out really pretty soon. Good. Crap, there's goblins. I might actually be able to summon the boss this time around because we're almost there. What the hell is this? Mazar okay. Sleep Post Smooth Mall. What? They po There's a post with Darth Maul that has like black tattoos on it. HP is good, but I'd rather have the bonus effects. I'd also like to have Oblivion so I can get rid of these gargoyles. Vampirism 10, regen per sec. Uh, let's see, attack speed and defense. Yeah, put that on. Defense and Vampire. Ooh, that goes up quite a bit. Mm, nah. It's always these hard choices. Yeah, I might actually be able to summon the boss here.
Alright, uh, let's see. Good spot for that would be... Nowhere. I guess right here. Oh, your health is doing really good. How many loops have you done? Uh, so far, eight. <laughs> Maybe now that you start equipping yeah, your freaking gear. <laughs> I think it's because I got a lot of things with high vampirism, so I, anytime I get hit, I just immediately get that health back. That sounds extremely We've broken. It, that's because it is, and I love it. Although, watch me. I'm, I'm gonna start taking a lot of damage this round. Uh, vampire some down, counter up, now. I would like to get a better weapon, thank you very much. I said a better weapon. Finally, thank you. I wonder, uh, the more loops you do, is it the less likely that you can get Oblivion because they want to add the challenge? I don't know. What, the vampire's taking a beating a little bit? Yeah. Oh, Blood Grove. That right there. Oh god. So many goblin camps now. It's like you've been going around this place for a while. So there's no way you can heal yourself. Aside from if I had the the herbalist hut uh oh ghosts. If I had the herbless hut, I didn't, then I'd be able to get potions that I could heal myself. Otherwise, I need to rely on something that has either uh, regen or vampirism. Oh, sorry about that. Text. I didn't realize my phone was on vibrate. Yeah. That's a lot of goblins, and I don't like it. Palace increase the. Oh, oh no, the boss is here. We might be in trouble. I just realized there's a flesh golem. Uh oh. Have you seen Ted? Yeah, he's uh over there. Wow, killing that thing though gave me a lot of good stuff. It's almost like it's the point of trying to kill it. Yeah. Let's see, region no. Vampirism, no. Come on, give me something good. Evasion. Yeah, I'll take the better armor. Counter evasion. Vampirism. I'm going to keep that vampirism. It's the only thing that's keeping me alive at this point. Wow, this thing gave me a lot of good stuff. Looks at it. Wow, this is garbage. <laughs> oh, hey, a treasury. It's like that freaking uh, meme of Dipper holding the going, This is absolutely worthless. Music's pretty good. So I'm guessing the boss is back at base camp? <laughs> yeah. That, that's where it dropped, but I don't think I'm in any condition to fight him, so I'm just gonna cut my losses at this point, because we got a lot of stuff from this run. He just sitting there, uh, roasting a marshmallow. Hey. I still have to get back to base in one piece, though, and there are a lot of goblins down here to... Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Jesus Christ! Oh, 
Oh, we, we might die here. Nah, nah, you got it, you got it. Okay, don't, don't jinx me. Alright, well, we got it. So many things. Okay, let's see. Vampirism, less damage. Defense, less damage. Everything's less damage. I mean, here that's a good thing. Oh, it's so many things. Oh, thank God we got Oblivion. Alright, what do I got ahead of me? Wolves I can handle, slimes I can handle. Uh, you two, on the other hand, you gotta go. Uh oh. May spoke too soon. Defense counter. No. no. So your guy is just taking it upon himself to fix the world because he just wants to? Yes. Alright, good night, Moon. Good night, Moon. Alright. We should... Okay, yeah. We're out of range of the vampires. So we got a couple wolves and slimes. That's the worst of it. Okay, now, TBG, you're gonna call me crazy. You're insane. I'm thinking of actually doing a stream to get Minecraft, because I just feel like it. I mean, I've actually uh, thought about it for a while, uh, but to have, like, a community Minecraft uh, server. Yeah. My buddy Ethan, Big Hoogie, he's actually doing Minecraft right now, I think. But I think it's like a, a world he's doing for a friend that's full of mods. Ah. I don't know if I'd be able to handle one full of mods. Well, right. it depends on the mods. Oh, I see. So you uh, get Oblivion cards to take away each of the, the palace pieces. Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, every every palace piece uh, increases the lich's HP and damage by five percent. And there's one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So around eight pieces if uh, you don't have anything around your base camp. Remember the lich from Adventure Time? Yes. Remember how Finn killed it? <laughs> Remember how he became a snail? Yes. And how he would, they actually would sneak him into episodes and you had to pay like, pay, like, close attention to realize it. The snail was in episodes before that, but after that episode, you can still spot him, but he's the ink, he's the lich version then. Exactly. I think, I, I think I fell from Adventure Time after they introduced the Cosmic Owl. Ooh, that was a good run. All right, what do we got? We can make a we can make a refuge, a, a herbalist hut, smithy, or a gym. Well, you said a herbalist hut gives you healing items, right? It, it gives me a potion that heals four percent of my max HP. I say go and take up the three. Because having having potions on emergency would be pretty good. All right, put that right there. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil, and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. The real miracle is that all these healing pro uh, uh, policies and bombs still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. These potions can also help you. Take a bottle or two in on your trip and your chances of coming back unharmed will be much higher. Oh, we can actually build more stuff. We can build either either the gym or the smithy. I'm or a farm. Uh, let's see. Farmers' crops are always a welcome sight at the dinner table. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an ex uh, exhibition, it gives you one ration for every completed loop, but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. 
unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built, unlocks the wheat fields cart. I think I might go with the, the gym, though. That way I can get a special traits after killing monsters. Remember in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Boggy of all places, people owned the gym? Yes. Why him? Why not? Hmm, so that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. But... You too could learn a few things, though. But isn't learning it again also just remembering it at the same time? Well, yeah, I guess, but I think it's like he's reteaching himself. He's not remembering. He's just straight up just learning stuff from scratch. You two could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. TBG, I need some oil. Nah. The cogs in my brain are rusted. They're grinding. <laughs> Don't worry. Just give it time. Nah, I already know all I need to leave the learning to the kids. Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. But learning boring. <laughs> uh... We can build a farm. You know what? To help, let's see, cemetery. A uh, gloomy but necessary part of every village passing through a cemetery on expeditions grants you a memory fragment, can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm probably what the crypt is. All right, let's see, supply depot. The appraiser will be happy to identify all the strange things you could find on the road and pass them to the people who need them the most. Unlocks the supply feature. From now on, you will uh, begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks the ability to craft items if you have the necessary building. Unlocked the ruins card. Right, I'm going to get a farm. We'll put the farm right out here. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The farmer promises that he will be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. It will be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. We have burgers downstairs in the fridge. I'm tempted to go warm two up and eat them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you can build multiple farms. It makes sense. Yeah, I guess. All right, smelter. We can't do that until we get a smithy. All right. Well, that's all we can build for now. I think we have enough. Let's see. What is it? Uh, we could probably do a couple more loops and then we'll call it. All right. What do we got? Village. First they'll feed you, then they'll make you work. Heals five plus f uh, five times the loop HP upon entering gives you a quest. We fields haystacks look like a cozy place to rest. You have to move on. You can only be uh, only be placed next to a village. Uh, gives it more healing. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. Uh, let's see, spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here, except for the potions. They are still in your sight. Oh god, that sounds horrible. Uh, I, I've started playing Crash 4 on my Switch, and it's super weird. In all the other versions, the opening sequence has, like, like the logos, but they have music and sound effects, but on the Switch version, for some reason, they're silent. And what was it for? Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 on Switch. Ah. I have heard the Switch one, like, it looks a little bit better, but at the same time, they took a lot of stuff out of it. Like what they take out, because I've been playing it, it's been the same so far as the Xbox One version, because oh, that's, that's the, the version I had before. Just like sound effects. Uh, oh, okay. And other, like, minor effects. Well, that's part of the course when it comes to the Switch versions. You, you trade you trade some of that stuff off to have it portable. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean... Uh, the Spyro Reignited stuff I've heard is good, but it's not as good as a console one, but you have to cut some corners to make it still very fun and playable when it's portable. That's how I did the Spyro Reignited trilogy, and I had a blast playing it. Although now I know everyone's cursed when it comes to trouble of the trolley, eh? 
<laughs> a village. I'll put that right here. Put that right here, and we'll start putting that right over here. Oh, it's not on subject. Bible says again. Screw you, TVG. Slide two hacking is good. Slide two hacking is not good until the final episode. I find it'd be pretty good. Slide three the whole hacking thing. is good. I was never a fan of it. I just found it a little tedious and slow at times. Uh, get good. I know it should get good. <laughs> the only hacking I really only I don't like is Slide Four's little ball guiding game. Ball guiding game. Uh... The one where you tilt the controller to tilt the ball in different directions. I like that one. I don't. Motion controls do not agree with me. I I had no problem with it. Actually, I like all the the hacking in Sly 4. Have you tried doing it on the Vita, where you're tilting the whole damn console? No, because I hate gyroscopic controls. Uh oh, Bandit Camp. The uh, spawns a bandit in the adjacent the tile every two days. Bandits prefer villages appear for every two village tile. All right. TVG. That's what the console version uses too as a controller. No, but I mean, like, I, I can turn it off, and I, I don't like tilt controls. You can turn the tilt controls off for the ball mini game. Uh, okay, gyro controls where you have to move the entire system. How's that? There, that's better. Because I was going to say, you could turn those off the whole time. Listen, I think you forget, I'm not a wordsmith. <laughs> so you're just a smith? Yes. Is this game hot? Uh, yeah, a lot of people find it to be very popular, so I'm gonna say this game is hot. <laughs> this one tough slime, holy hell! That slime is extra thick. Oh, wait, what's this? Command damage, I need more defense. Remember that uh, Samurai Jack game that came out and no one talked about? The, the one that retconned the ending of the show? Did it? I haven't seen season four, or the, like the seasons that were on Adult Swim. Yeah, apparently it, the hundred percent ending to it uh, retcons the show. I'm not gonna say what it retcons, but I, I, I'll just say that that's what it does. The game has good reviews from what I've seen. Yeah, I've heard it's actually pretty good. Although the uh, Twitter account decided to. Go up in the meme culture saying if you're playing the game on release day and you get a pizza, make sure it's extra thick. Honestly, I can't even be angry. <laughs> I mean, it's their joke. I mean, yeah, it is their joke, so they have all the rights to make it. It just became a meme. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Uh, let's see, attack speed, region. Yeah, give me that. I seriously have not gotten a single weapon my entire time out here, and we're already on our second loop. Oh, still nothing. TBJ just remember saying, now that I'm going to slide three, I get to hear the best thing ever. Bentley singing? Yes, and Sly's very great Italian accent. No, the best thing ever is Bentley talking about sauce. <laughs> no, it's Sly talking about it, and Bentley wants nothing of it. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not. I see. You think you can just wander in these parts without consequences? Times are rough. You know, nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle, and we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What, you think you're better than us? No. Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight, and that's the only thing that'll keep you... T uh, that that's the only thing that you'll keep today. Fight! Was that what my whistle line a reference to what I'm thinking it's a reference to? <laughs> no food, nothing to drink is what he's saying. I know, but like, I don't know, that what my whistle thing could be taken differently. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal, should I be happy they're appearing again? 
On the other hand, being the disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. You know what you know what is owed though? It's a damn weapon! Holy hell! Game said no weapon. Evidently. This might be a quick loop if I don't get a damn weapon soon. Alright, I'm gonna head out and get a set for Minecraft. I wanna play a bit more tonight. Alright. Alright, dude. Alright, night. 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 This could be bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. This was a mistake. Why has this game not given me a weapon? Alright, there we go. Still, what the heck is going on here? Is there a reason I'm not getting a weapon, or do I just have straight-up garbage luck? Scarecrows do. And honestly, I am nervous. Oh, this is bad. have to call it here. <laughs> Nothing but vampires. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have the vampire to Finally! Jeez! Holy hell, that took three loops! <laughs> oh, now you're starting to give me good stuff. Let's see. Choose a new trait. The hero rushes into battle head on, and his first attack does 75%, has a 75% to stun enemy for one second. 0.5% of the loop uh, HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing the tile. For every potion used. Uh, let's go with battering ram. Speed damage to all. Look that. Now that I got a weapon, I think I might be able to go a couple more loops. Oh, definitely.
fair. Seriously, wish I could put that wheat field somewhere or get rid of the card. And vampirism, though. No, not worth it. Magic damage. Nope. Can't give me that. Definitely. Person goes, yes. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, this is bad. Rocks. 
put this right here. Good. Tech speed and evasion. Nah, I'm keeping that. Um, vampirism. <clears throat> Somersault, 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. Defense is increased by one after every loop. Yeah, give me this. Hopefully this also counts for the loops I've already gone through. I was about to say, better not be missing him constantly. Tech speed, now I'm keeping that vampirism. a little bit different from the last ones I've seen.
Oh, yeah, definitely that. Yeah, it's worth it. Ooh, yes. Just give me all that vampirism. good in terms of stuff. Not that. Uh, let's see. Three things of wood. We got that uh, stable metal and rocks. Alright. Level s loop six. I think I might call it here. We'll, we'll go one more loop and then we'll call it. Then again, might have to call it here. So close to the boss. I need just one more thing to summon. All right, what do we got? Nothing good. That should be enough for the boss. Oh, I didn't even see if there was a goblin camp. God, he is healing so much health. Uh, defense attack speed. Yeah. What is that? Ghost of a ghost. How deep can we go with the ghost of a ghost? Really could use an Oblivion card right about now. Really hoping I get at least one. Uh, got excited for a second.
three thieves at this time. Ugh, don't know if I'm... Okay, I should be able to handle them. Maybe. They have such ridiculous evasion, though. How... how is this even possible? That's right, you didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? Do you really think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. Every one of its elements now rests in a separate, separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories, they shall remain there until... Uh, entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mess. Uh, yeah, uniform static mess. Along with you, of course. You're insane! So what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with others, pieces of your reality, to organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any ex exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks, and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you, you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Ooh. Is he throwing planets at me? Alright, let's see. Undead Cosmic Mage has a soul researcher. Health and damage all are increased by 5% for every Lich's Palace. Let's see. 20% 5 by 5 chance by enhanced by palette. <laughs> Max damage. Magic damage 7. Does magic damage would hurt him? Be surprised. Yes. Keep the vampirism, defense, evasion. No. Attack speed. No. Don't want to sacrifice that vampirism. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna die. Oh god. Ugh. So close. Ugh. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Alright. Uh, can't build anything there yet. Can't build another farm yet either. As much as I would like to get a smithy, uh, I think this is where we're gonna call it for tonight. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, let's see. Unlocks the town card. Let's see. Cancels resources needed. Oh, to upgrade. Dismantle building. Okay, I see. All right. Uh, so, yeah, Loop Hero, uh, really fun game. I might see myself coming back to this every now and then. Uh, 
It's an interesting concept. I, I kind of like the roguelike element to it. Uh, definitely would like to see how this goes through, even though we actually had a really uh, good number of runs that were really close. We probably would have been able to uh, finish it had I just gotten better with vampirism. And maybe have held off for one more loop to get a couple of oblivions. Alright. Uh, that is going to do it. I'm going to close that out. And I am going to go and get ready to go to bed because I am tired. It is... A little before the cutoff time, but it eh, just feels like we did a lot tonight. We're almost at four hours anyway, so it's basically six one, half a dozen the other. I think it's because I actually started an hour earlier than I usually do. Uh, yeah, had a, had a lot of fun tonight. Really enjoyed Loop Hero. Really enjoyed the Battalion Wars challenge. Definitely gonna revisit that series again sometime in the future for maybe another challenge. I just need to figure out what it is. Uh, schedule. Tomorrow, I might put up a poll to either see if we decide to do the game clearing uh, second place winner because last week we finished up Panzer Paladin, or maybe do Ninjala because the new season also starts tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, Friday, of course, Yakuza, going to continue our adventures in that. Saturday, 3D World with Dragon. And not much else is going on. Uh, I do need to get to work on the next month uh, set of games for game clearing. So hopefully uh, keep an eye out for it uh, till then. I should have it up on Monday. Also, Sly stuff. Sly should be coming back on Friday. So keep an eye out for it then as well. I will see you all tomorrow for whatever the hell wins the poll. Alright, uh, let's see, what is a good target for us to raid? Mm -hmm. You know what? Why not? I'll give him a, a helping hand. Uh, let's go raid Dragon, who is currently doing Minecraft right now. Uh, what should a message be, though? Think of something either associated with Looper Hero or the challenge. You know what? Perfect. to go raid dragon with hashtag hard one ice cream because after finishing that challenge the boys deserve that hard one ice cream go give him any support he's working his way to affiliate uh like i said stream tomorrow is gonna be up to a poll i should have the poll up possibly around uh noonish tomorrow so just keep an eye out for it then and the raid his way. And yeah, uh, not much else to say. Uh, keep an eye out for Sly stuff. Again, should they have that up on Friday. Uh, good night, everybody. Hope you all had fun. I will see you all later. Where's the button? Where's the button? Where is Wario? There's Wario. Good night, everybody. Oh my god!